If you should look at Donald Trump, he said one thing that is very profound. And he said, people, he said, if he becomes president, he will not, he will not allow the central bank digital currency to actually be implemented in America. Away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. I do not want to get involved in American politics. However, wherever you are in the world, American politics get involved in our business. Before Trump became president, he was actually America's Cinderella darling. And when he started running for politics, he became the ugly duckling or the villain. How long do you think the apprentice is going to last? Well, it just keeps going. We're, we've just been renewed, and now actually next year they're doing two. Actually, when I did the apprentice, they said under no circumstances will the show work. Why would women want to watch Donald Trump? Do you believe this? And I said, have I done so badly? How many marriages? Well, plenty of exactly. women. Exactly. That's okay. what I was saying. I remembered in 2016 when the, he became president. And when he became president, I remember it clearly. The stock market took a dive. Then it recovered. Then it took another dive again. But it was actually so volatile after he won. We was wondering what's going on. But that's politics in America. So in this video, I'm going to give you some reasons why I think that the 45th president and probably, whether they like it or not, the 47th president might have some issues going forward. Why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> you don't even say, hello, how are you? Now, I am not a Trump's supporter. I am a centrist. I'm not, a, I'm not supporting Trump nor Biden yet, more likely Kamala Harris, because Biden's out and Kamala Harris is going to throw her hat in the ring. I'm a centrist. I am not taking sides in American politics or even Canadian politics or Jamaican politics. I stay in the middle. But let me say this to you. When Trump got into politics and he won, we saw a shift. We saw a shift where he actually um, spoke to his enemies. He spoke to his enemies. He talked to um, Kim Jong-un in North Korea. He talked to um, other world leaders and he find peace. And one of the things I love about Trump is that he never engaged in a war. And whether you like it or not, America's economy is a war economy. It thrives off war. So when I realized that he didn't get involved into war, he wasn't very liked. He wasn't very liked because if you can look at almost all the other presidents, they got involved into war and he didn't get involved in a war. So that's a plus. But for money and power, I think that's also a minus. If I'm president, I will have that war settled in one day, 24 hours. How would you settle that war in one day? Because I'll meet with Putin, I'll meet with Zelensky. They both have weaknesses and they both have strengths. And within 24 hours, that war will be settled. It'll be over. Now, if I could partake in American politics or vote, because I'm not American, to be honest with you, I think I would vote for Trump. Not because um, he's better than Harris, but based on a few things. One, I have learned in politics over the years that whenever the corporate mass media like CNN, MSNBC, BBC, ABC, NBC, whenever they are demonizing a particular person, that's the person I would vote for. Because one thing I have learned over the years is that the corporate mass media, they always amount peace for the elites. And because of that, I would always support the person that the mass media is character assassinating or demonizing. I do that for one particular reason, because that person is literally maybe say working for the average man or not the puppet in the system. That is why I would vote for that particular leader. You could also say that, whether you like it or not, Trump created a lot of enemies for himself. 
when you're a politician, you have to be very tactful. You have to think before you speak, and you also have to use wisdom. As the good book says, a wise man keeps the mouth in the mind, and the fool keeps the mind in the mouth. Because Trump is somewhat braggadocious, he will just fire off. And in politics, and in the world, or in a position of influence, let me say this to your people, the media will literally slaughter you if you say the wrong things. And Trump is not tactful. But on the other hand, folks, I kind of like that. Why do I like it? The good book says, a straight rebuke is better than vain affection. So for me, i rather have a leader like that who will just fire off, who will just say things off the cuff. Because the thing is that I get to know his heart. But the one who laughs with you, plays with you, and play the game with you, that's the one I don't like. Because literally, they will always promise you the world. But when it comes to delivering, that ain't going to happen. It's all a strategic move to get your vote. That is some of the reasons why I like Trump. Now, on the other side of his argument is that I don't believe, based on my analysis on numerology, because people, I like to sometimes peek over in the dark side to see what's coming down the pipe. Now, Trump had his speech in Baxter, Pennsylvania, people. And as you can see, almost lost his life. And as he runs for office, he might become the, the 47th president. And now you see the Democrats shift now from Joe Biden to Kamala Harris. So when you really look at it, the probability is here. he has a 50-50% chance. And when I say that, the chances are looking good. However, based on my analysis on numbers, as I said, people, I will look at the numbers. But I do not want to use numerology to come to any conclusion because that's the way the occult functions. But there's a sometimes for you to get up hand on the enemy. You have to know this tragedy. You, know, have to, you have to know what they do and the strategy they use. Now, having said that, the attempted assassination happened in Trump's life. I went and looked at the news. And I wanted to know what time it happened. Because for me, numbers matters. The numbers matters. So I looked at the numbers. And the numbers suggested that the person who shot at him, shot at him at 6.11 in the morning. 6.11. If you flip that around, that's a 9.11. The other side is that he was the 45th president, which is a 9. And if he becomes the 47th, that will be 11. That will be a 9 and 11. And in numerology, 9 means war. And 11 means judgment and destruction. So what I'm trying to say is that I am not sure if he'll win. To be honest with you, on a biased note, I would love if he wins. Because many of us believe that the government, American government, is literally run by the elected officials. No. There are powers in America that is so powerful and around the world that dictates global politics, which is also, they call them what you call it, a deep state or the shadow government, which they dictate politics. And I'm going to break it down for you. I remembered when um, Nelson Mandela became president in 1994. And if you read his book, The Long Walk Forward, he said after he became president of South Africa, he had a meeting with the Oppenheimers. And they said to him, and the Oppenheimers are the ones who own De Beers. You know, De Beers, the diamond company, and they own a whole lot more. And they said to him that, Mr. President, if you nationalize one industry, We'll have a capital flight and we'll implode this economy. I kid you not. They say we'll, they will implode your economy. Meaning that 
If you nationalize any industry in South Africa, they will move money out of the economy and they will tank the economy. So this is a scary part for me when it comes to Trump. In every society, every economy, you have an elite class and the elite class dictate politics. They dictate where the economy goes. And no matter how many politicians you put here and the people think that politicians going to really dictate the situation, that elite class can, I would say, raise your economy or they can kill it anytime they want. So when it comes to President Trump's situation, that is the scary part for me. Because based on the fact that they tried to take him out, 6-11, which is a 9-11, and the other fact that he was a 45th president, which is number nine, and he has a 50% chance of becoming the 47th president, which is 11. So it doesn't look good because, as you can see, the media's character assassinating him. The media, I would say, want to literally get rid of him. And because the media wants to get rid of him, it tells me that it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for him. You don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. And I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. As he said that, it was literally divine intervention. And honestly, people, I'm a person who believes in God. It was divine intervention for him not to be a dead man. He said that. So, when you really assess it, the question is that, if he wins, will he survive? Number two, the media doesn't like him, and the media is a mouthpiece for the elite. And number three, if he wins and becomes president, I believe there will be a massive stock market crash. And why I said that? Because the elites don't like him. They love wars. He almost got killed. And because of that, I'm wondering, will he survive? I'm wondering, will he become the president? And if he does, what's going to happen after that? So for me personally, people, for me, for me, Jamkin personally, people, <laughs> and I'm going to give you a hint to all of my viewers and subscribers. I will not buy one stock leading up to U.S. election. I will not buy one stock if I buy two. And what I'm going to do for my own protection, whatever I have in the market, I'm going to sell and I'm going to park. I'm going to park as the market goes up and it looks good before the election. I'm going to sell and I'm going to park. I am not telling any one of you to buy or sell. I'm just saying for me, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sell and I'm going to park. Why do I say that? Because if he wins, I have believed that without a doubt, they're going to pull out the rug from under him. And if he also wins, you might end up with another pandemic. <laughs> People, let me say this to you. There's a battle that's going on in the world. There is a battle going on. And it's a battle that's leading us somewhere. You could say to the New World Order. You could say it's towards global government. But there's a battle that's going on. And you would say that the shadow government or the deep state want to take the masses to this new dimension. But they need a puppet president who can bring them there. And I don't believe President Trump is a puppet. That is why I say that. If I had the opportunity to vote for in the American election, I would vote Trump based on that reason because we don't know. Because if you should look at Donald Trump, he said one thing that is very profound. And he said, people, he said, if he becomes president, he will not, he will not allow the central bank digital currency to actually be impl implemented in America. 
away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Trump said he does not want the digital currency. So I know the warfare that's taking place is between the bankers and politics. The bankers want to move us to one direction where if you look at the American debt now, it's about $35 trillion. America cannot pay that debt. So whether they like it or not, the digital currency has to become the new currency. Now, if you look at the BRICS, the BRICS nation, the BRICS nation right now want to create their own currency, and that's a threat to America's and Western hegemony. So if the BRICS are getting rid of the American dollar, and all of those dollars going to hit American shores, what do you think is going to happen to the United States economy? It's going to tank. And because that is impending and will happen, based on the fact that the world is getting rid of the U.S. dollars, they're going to have to go to CBDC, Central Bank Digital, Digital Currency. But folks, that is dangerous. Folks, that is dangerous. Because guess what now? When you have a CBDC currency, you can use it as a weapon, meaning that if you say to a person, based on the fact that carbon footprint is too much for each individual, you can say to that person, you can only buy four chickens for the month or three chickens. If that person decides to buy a fifth chicken or a four chicken, what happens when they go spend the money? It go bomb. It sanctions you. If you literally break a simple law and they don't like it, bomb, they'll sanction you. So that's what you call global dictatorship, which is scary. So based on that main premise, I support President Trump because I am not a fan of the CBDC. So this is the warfare that's taking place. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. It turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. As I said before, if President Trump's win, I believe without a doubt they pull out the rug from under him with the via the stock market. Or there might be a pandemic. Or you never know, there might be another assassination attempt. But like I said before, whenever you have, whenever you have the mass media, CNN, CNBC, BBC, NBC, ABC is turning against a leader, vote for that leader. Because the corporate mass media is always a mouthpiece for the elites. People, drop your comments. Tell me what you think. Am I nuts? Am I crazy? Am I just making up story? Am I a conspiracy theorist? Or are there some facts to my argument? But I believe without a doubt, President Trump should be the next 47th president if I could vote. In the meantime, people, like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think, and let me know that if what I said makes some level of sense. People, on that note, Jamkan is out. And American politics, me attack both. See you in the next video. Peace.